Good afternoon, Pine Grove. We do greet you in the immaculate name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God for another opportunity that he's given us to come before your presence. We thank God for this opportunity to bring Bible study tonight. We just love the Lord and we, we thank God for our pastor. And we thank God for each of you. Uh, let us uh, offer a word of prayer. Father, we come now in the immaculate name of Jesus, Lord, thanking and praising you for this day you've allowed us to see. We glorify you, Father. We magnify your name. You're great, mighty, faithful, and we trust you. Father, we invite the presence of your Holy Spirit to overtake and consume us today. Father, we ask in Jesus' name that you would give us the word that your people need, that we as your people need in this day and in this hour. Father, we ask that you would open up our understanding, give us clarity, give us insight, uh, in your word, give us revelatory knowledge, God. Uh, just open up the scripture unto us. God, even as we speak, allow Holy Spirit to just interject and speak through us. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would give your people ears to hear, uh, hearts that are open and receptive, and, and help us to walk out the word that we've heard. We ask it all in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Those of you that have your Bibles, turn with us uh, to... Uh, the 77th number of Psalms, 14th verse, the 77th number of Psalms, the 14th verse. I'm going to read it out of the uh, King James Version, then I'm going to the New International Version. The King James Version, it reads, Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. You're the God that do wonders. You've declared your strength among the peoples. And the uh, NIV uh, reads like this. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the people. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the people. And uh, this afternoon, we'd like to use for a topic for Bible study, the God of miracles, the God of miracles and the God that we serve. He is the God of miracles. Amen. A miracle is defined as an extraordinary event manifest in divine intervention in human affairs. A miracle is an extraordinary event manifest in divine intervention in human affairs. A miracle is God's intervention on man's behalf. Hallelujah. It's God intervening for us, for mankind. A miracle is extraordinary. It is astonishing uh, when it happens and when it when it comes in, it you know without a doubt it is by divine assignment. It is because God did it. Hey, no other way you can explain it. It's the song we used to sing. Who did it? God did it. When a miracle takes place, can't nobody get the credit but God. God doesn't automatically or uh, uh, He doesn't uh uh automatically just uh, uh, perform miracles uh, unless there is, uh, uh, I'll say, a person that's there interceding or there is a cry for a miracle. There is a heart for a miracle. There is a desire for a miracle. Now, now remember, now, now God can just manifest miracles whenever he want to. Hi, Jesus, whenever he want to. But in our behalf, Usually there's an intercessor, there's a prayer warrior, there's someone that's interceding and believing God in the behalf uh, of themselves or in behalf of someone else. Miracles occur when man invites God to intervene on man's behalf. A miracle occurs when man invites God. God intervene, hallelujah. I can't do it. Move in my behalf. Move in their behalf. When you ask God to, to intervene in your behalf. Can I get a witness? 
the Bible uses three main words to refer to a miracle, a sign, wonder, and power. These three words help us to better understand what the phrase God of miracles means. Basically, a miracle is an act of God beyond human understanding that displays God's power. It inspires uh, wonders in humans. And it acts as a sign that God is at work in the world. Hallelujah. My God. A miracle of God is an extraordinary or an unnatural event. It's a wonder. And it reveals or it confirms a specific message, a sign through a mighty work, which is a power. Praise God. The God of miracles uses supernatural power to reveal himself to people on the earth. The Greek word translated miracle is dunamis, and it means power. God uses miracles and extraordinary wonders to capture people's attention. Isn't that right? When the Lord calls, uh, or when he caused a bush to begin to burn, but the bush was not consumed, you know what happened? It got Moses' attention. That was a miracle. God works miracles to reveal his glory. Yes, he does. He uses miracles to reveal his power. He uses miracles to convey his purposes and his truths to those who see him with the eyes of faith. You won't recognize a miracle. You won't see a miracle unless you're looking through the eyes of faith. Isn't that right? You know, uh, uh, the God that we serve, he is the God of miracles. You know, people serve all kind of gods, but none of their gods are miracle-working gods. All their gods are, 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 are stiff or dead or idols, but the God that we serve is a miracle-working God. The entire Bible is filled with the stories, are uh, uh, filled with his story, and his story reveals of the only true, the only living God. It's filled with his miraculous works. It's filled with his miraculous acts. The first miracle that we find recorded was found in Genesis when the God that we serve, the miracle working God, the God of miracles stood in the midst of nothing and he spoke everything into existence just by his words. The Bible say, he said, let there be, and there was. After speaking everything into existence, look, everything we see uh, came into existence. Then the God that we serve performed another miracle because he took the dust from the ground and formed this dust into man, breathing his nostrils, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The God of miracles. That's the God that we serve. You see, not only is he the God of miracles in the past, but God wants to perform those same miracles in our lives in the present. But can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe him to perform miracles. Look. And, and then just to glance back at the past. Look at God. God threw the deaf angel. God allowed the deaf angel to go down into Egypt. And killed all the firstborn Pharaoh's house. All of the Egyptians. But in Goshen. Where his people were. Where the blood was on the doorpost. The deaf angel passed over. It said, look, no, no one died in Goshen. The dogs didn't even bark. That's a miracle. Isn't that right? Oh, God. God spoke to the prophet Isaiah and told him to go to Hezekiah and tell Hezekiah to get his house in order because he was going to die and not live. And the Bible says... Hezekiah, intercessor, turned his face to the wall 
and prayed and said, God, look, remember me. Remember my record. My God. And the, the Bible said, and before Isaiah could get to the gate, God told him to go back and tell Hezekiah, I have added 15 years to your life. You see, God is a God of miracles. God will do just what his word says he will do. But guess what? But you got to believe it. Can you believe God for the miraculous? God, look, he changed water into wine. A miracle. He healed the raw official's son in Capernaum. That was a miracle. He healed the paralyzed uh, man that sat at the pool of Bethesda. That was a miracle. He fed 5,000, not including uh, the women and the children, with two fish and five loaves of bread. That was a miracle. He walked on water. I mean, the Bible continuously shows us one after the other, the miracle working power of God. Our God is a God of miracles. But guess what? He wants to be the same way for you. All we have to do is believe him. All we got to do is believe him. Believe his word. He is a God of miracles. He's a God of miracles. God promises us a miracle. If we ask, if we seek, and if we knock, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Miracles. God said, I'll pour out these miracles upon you. He promised us a miracle. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, heal the land. He will perform a miracle when we begin to seek his face, when we begin to cry out to him. You see, he's a miracle working God. But there's a part that we have to play. You've got to see your miracle by faith before you see your miracle in the natural. You've got to ask, seek, knock. You got to believe him. Look at here. You got to see it by faith before you can see it in the natural. Those three Hebrew boys, when they stood before King Nebuchadnezzar, and King Nebuchadnezzar told him, you're going to bow? Or if you don't, we're going to throw you into a furnace. They saw their miracle by faith. They said, oh, king, we don't have to be careful to answer you concerning this. Because the God that we serve is able. The God that we serve is a miracle working God. If he desires he can deliver us out of your hand. He can deliver us from this furnace. And even if he don't, even if he choose not to deliver, it's not because he can't. He's a miracle working God. He's going to still deliver us from out of your hand. God is a miracle working God. And guess what? He wants to do those same miracles for you. When I saw... Uh, Pastor Rhonda Bolden, when she posted the picture of Archbishop Bolden, that was a miracle. This man was dead on his sickbed. Look, his sickbed, to look at him, he, he wasn't breathing on his own. He had no life within him. But guess what? She interceded. She pleaded to God on his behalf. She pleaded to God on on his behalf and her behalf. And guess what? God worked a miracle. Hi, God worked a miracle in their behalf. All of us, each, each and every one of us that have went through COVID and we are still here. Guess what? Whether you recognize it or not, 
God worked a miracle in your behalf because some folk that were way better than you by nature, they are going to be with the Lord because COVID took them away. But God worked a miracle in our behalf. Some of you, God has worked a miracle in the lives of your family, in the lives of your home, in the lives of your children. You see people now getting along together that you never thought it was possible. Why? Because God worked a miracle. Prayer works. Ask. Seek. Knock. His desire is to perform a miracle in your behalf. But can you believe it? Can you believe it? I'm like that man that, that came to Jesus and said, he said, Lord, I, I brought my son to your disciples and they couldn't heal him. Look, Lord, can can you? And God said, hey, I, I mean, Jesus said, uh, it's not whether I can do it. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe him for a miracle? Can you stand in the gap for someone else? Can you plead in their behalf? You can. God has equipped you. He's given you a measure of faith. Stand and cry out to God. When you hear the voice of God early in the morning, it's not a bathroom break. It's a prayer break. God wake you up to pray and intercede for others. Cry out in their behalf. God work a miracle. Many people are still in the hospital right now. Many people are still in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana. I mean, Homa, different parts of Louisiana. People are in New Jersey, New York. They're suffering. And we can't be there. But prayer can. God can work a miracle there. Pray in their behalf. God work a miracle. God send recovery. God send healing. Remember if my people, which are called by my name, ha, will humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. Forgive their sins. Heal the land. I will work a miracle, he says. We serve the God of miracles. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for giving us a heart for you. A heart for those that are lost. A heart for those that don't know you in the pardon of their sin. God, work a miracle right now. Bring healing. Bring deliverance. Bring salvation. You are the God of miracles. And we believe in your power. We believe in your power. We believe that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. We love you. We appreciate you. May God bless and keep you is our prayers.